20 years ago, a group of men organized in Asheville to address a major problem facing women. From the very beginning, our person of the week has been part of Men Who Care. Now, what motivated him is what he saw as a doctor, and even though he's retired now, he continues to make a difference in the lives of others. My name is John Stewart. I'm a physician in Asheville. In a room full of men mostly, there is a story about to be told that is difficult to listen to. It's the story of Dora. A woman abused by a husband throughout her marriage. We need everybody, men and women, to be talking about domestic violence and to be doing their part towards educating um, folks about domestic violence. For one of the first things he did was to take the locks off all the doorknobs so that they, you would not be able to use them to lock the door in or out. My husband was very good about hitting me in places where you couldn't see. It would come out the, the situations they were living in at home. Dr. John Stewart has been seeing those situations since and before moving to Asheville 25 years ago. As an OBGYN, delivering babies and caring for mothers was only part of his job. But his medical training didn't quite prepare him for helping domestic violence victims beyond the emergency room. I was blown away by the, the frequency and the severity of it. And I hadn't learned anything about that in medical school. Uh, it's different now. Uh, but, uh, oh, yes, it's, it's certainly recognized uh, medical circles nowadays. But uh, I, learned it, I learned it from my patients. Because he told me that the only way I would leave was in a gurney. And I did. I looked around to see if there was an agency because I, I just knew I was going to need, need their services. My patients would. He found Helpmate, an agency that helps victims of domestic violence, and he's been their champion ever since. A volunteer, a board member, a donor, a great guy. A man who felt other men needed to be more involved, so he helped start Men Who Care to raise awareness and funding. We saw an opportunity to, to bring those, those men together, and they're for there to be a, a, a male voice of uh, recognition of the problem and a, really an opportunity for men to uh, do something about it. And if we don't reach everyone, then children are learning from their fathers. Boys are learning from their fathers that this is not the way we live our lives. And for Dr. Stewart, there is a new reason to do all he can to prevent abuse. Did you see an interview with you? Oh. His first grandchild, a girl born just five days earlier. When women are helped and pursue the, a life of their own choice, uh, it's one of the most rewarding things that, that you can be involved in. Now, Dr. Stewart is also donating his time and medical skills to the group Doctors Without Borders. He left last week to spend a month in Sudan helping those in need. Now, to learn more about Helpmate and how you can get involved, go to WLOS.com and click News Links.